Congratulations on your purchase of the Cobalt VK136, the ultimate home care system. Please watch this DVD carefully before using the machine. For your safety, please pay particular attention to the following points. Never use the machine in damp surroundings. Inspect the cleaner and mains cable frequently. If you find any damage, don't use the machine. Don't use water for cleaning any of the parts. Don't use with liquid or foam cleaning agents. Don't try to repair the machine yourself. Only use authorized Vorwerk agents. Always switch the machine off before doing any maintenance or cleaning and remove the electrical plug from the main supply. Make sure you hold the plug itself, don't pull on the cable. Don't use on body parts. Keep away from the rotating brushes. Don't use the machine to mop up liquids or moist dirt. Don't use it to pick up cigarette ends or hot ash. Never run the brushes over any electrical cables. Use only at the rated voltage. Use only with the motor filter in place. Use only with the hygienic microfilter in place. Used correctly, the VK136 will give you many years of trouble-free service. For floor cleaning, the VK136 has the following parts. A motor body, a telescopic handle, a power cable and plug, the EB360 electronic brush for carpet cleaning, the HD35 for hard floor vacuum cleaning, and the Pulilux PL515 for hard floor polishing. For above floor cleaning, there's a suction hose, a poster boy for cleaning pad type furniture, an adjustable soft nozzle for dusting furniture, books, picture frames and so on, a flat surface nozzle for cleaning walls and ceilings, a textile attachment for cleaning fabrics such as clothing and curtains, a telescopic tube for extending the reach of the machine, a multi-adjustable arm for reaching into awkward corners, a drill dust nozzle for sucking away brick and plaster dust, and a radiator brush for cleaning radiators and blinds. Inside the machine, there's a filter bag for collecting dust, a microfilter for removing potential allergens, a motor protection filter, and a Davina fragrance chip to perfume the air. To use the VK136 for floor cleaning, insert the telescopic handle into the lower handle until it clicks into place. You can then use the release button to adjust the length of the handle to give a comfortable working height. Attach the power cable by inserting the plug into the lower handle. Press the cable into the channel on the side of the handle. The handle incorporates the power switch. It has three settings. 1. Low power, A. Automatic, and 3. High power. Connect the VK136 to the electronic brush by pushing in the nozzle at the bottom of the body until it clicks into place. The HD35 and Polylux PL515 can be attached in the same way. To remove the head, press the release button on the front of the motor body or the button on the side of the machine. The VK136 is now ready for use. For cleaning surfaces above floor level, first connect the electrical cable to the body of the machine. Then push the hose into the nozzle until it clicks into place. Push the accessory you want to use onto the handle of the hose. For extra reach, Attach the telescopic tube to the end of the hose before adding the accessory. Release and extend the carry strap 
and attach it to the eyelet on the body of the machine. Adjust the length of the carrying strap to give a comfortable working position. The VK136 is now ready for use. To vacuum clean a carpet, use the VK136 with the EB360 attached. Remove the electrical cable from the cable holder by turning the clip downwards. Plug the appliance into a suitable mains outlet. Switch on the appliance using the sliding switch on the handle. You can set the suction performance to suit the job you're doing. When set to A, the EB360 automatically adjusts the suction power to suit the type of floor being cleaned. The electronic brush has its own motor that switches on and off automatically. A green light indicates that the device is working. If the machine is hard to push, reset the switch to level 1. The most effective cleaning is achieved by moving the device backwards and forwards twice over small areas. The machine has a soft function for delicate materials. This is selected by tapping the foot switch on the brush. A light shows that it's on. When the soft function is selected, the speed of the brushes is reduced and the action on the carpet is less vigorous. At borders, only use the cleaner parallel to the edge. To prevent damage when cleaning carpet fringes, only pull the machine backwards over the fringe. To switch off the soft function, simply press the foot switch again. The swiveling nozzle of the VK136 enables it to reach effortlessly into tight spots that other machines cannot easily get to. Right up to walls and the very edges of carpets. The whole machine can be laid flat on the floor for cleaning under low furniture. Staircases are easily dealt with. For narrow steps, the handle can be removed to reduce the overall length of the machine. If you want to pause in cleaning without switching the power off, you can put the machine in parking mode. Stand the cleaner vertically until the nozzle joint snaps into place. The brush is automatically switched off. To resume work, simply press the brush against the floor. You can use the parking mode to transfer the device from one area to another. Simply tilt and roll. To detach the electronic brush when you've finished using it, simply press the release button on the front of the machine while holding the head down lightly with your foot. To dry clean a carpet, use the VK136 with the EB360 and the freshener kit. The freshener kit consists of a pair of dry cleaning cassettes and a dry cleaning compound, Cobasan. But don't use the system on needle felt, sisal or Saxony carpeting. First, prepare the carpet by vacuum cleaning thoroughly with the EB360. Then spread the Cobasan granules as evenly as possible on the area to be cleaned. It's sensible to test the process on a small area before using it on the whole carpet. Now lay the cleaner flat on the floor. Press the yellow button and lift up the brush cover. Remove the roller brushes and insert the dry cleaning cassettes, making sure that the red end is aligned with a red mark on the cover. Close the cover and carefully click it into place using both hands. Move the brush over the treated area to work the Cobasan granules into the carpet. Run the cleaner in parallel strips over the treated surface, then in parallel strips at right angles to the original direction. Treat the carpet for about one minute per square meter, depending on dirtiness and pile height. Once the Cobasan has been worked into the carpet, leave it to dry. This will take about 30 minutes. The carpet can still be walked on during this time. 
As it works, the Cobasan absorbs grease and dirt from the carpet fibers. Once the granules are dry, remove the dry cleaning cassettes from the electronic brush and reinsert the roller brushes. Then vacuum clean the carpet to remove the Cobasan. Don't worry if some product remains in the carpet. Normal vacuum cleaning will remove it in time. When you've finished cleaning, check and if necessary, change the filter bag. One bag is sufficient for between one and two packets of Cobasan. For stubborn stains, dab a small amount of Cobotex onto the affected surface. Test the effect on a small area first. Refer to the manual for more details. Hard floors can be cleaned, waxed and polished using the Polylux PL515. There are two cleaning sets. The daily cleaning set has bristles of different lengths on one side and firm cleaning pads on the other. The wax and polish set has stiff even bristles on one side and polishing pads on the other. To insert the chosen cleaning set, push the yellow release button and pull up the hand grip to lift the hood. Insert the chosen set, making sure that the desired surface is facing downwards. Close the hood and push the hand grip down until it clicks. Before you start cleaning, make sure that there are no small stones or grit under the head as these could scratch the floor. Daily cleaning with the uneven bristles will remove marks, stains and non-fatty residues and will get rid of the opaqueness that results from manual washing. The bristles will penetrate into any grooves or rough spots. The cleaning pads will remove even the most stubborn dirt. The Pulleylux can also be used to wax and polish water-resistant floors. There's a full list of treatable surfaces on the inside front cover of the manual. After washing the floor, pour a thin film of Cobalin Wax Emulsion onto the surface and spread it evenly using a damp cloth or mop. Allow the wax to dry for at least 20 minutes and avoid walking on the floor during this time. Now use the PL515 with the polishing brushes installed to achieve a rough finish. Then turn the cleaning set over so that the polishing pads are in contact with the floor. Use the polishing pads to produce a high gloss finish. One square meter should be worked on for about one minute. Hard floors can be vacuum cleaned using the HD35. This has stiff bristles attached to a flexible plate that will swivel to allow the head to reach into tight spaces. The HD35 is suitable for cleaning hard and waxed floors, parquet flooring and ceramic tiles. It runs on wheels and is easy to push around. Its swiveling head enables it to clean right up to walls, into corners, around furniture legs, under chairs and in other tight spaces. If you need to pause the cleaning process, to move obstacles for example, simply stand it upright to park it. You can clean mattresses using the EB360 with the white mattress brushes, the dry cleaning cassettes and Lavinia dry cleaning powder. The mattress brushes have small flaps that impart a beating action to the mattress. First, open the cover of the EB360, remove the roller brushes and insert the mattress brushes in their place, taking care to observe the colour coding, red with red. Close the cover and click it shut. Holding the lower handle of the VK136 for greater control, vacuum clean the mattress. This has the effect of beating it and removing some dust. Spread the Lavinia dry cleaning powder evenly onto the mattress. Remove the mattress brushes from the electronic brush and replace them with the dry cleaning cassettes, making sure that you follow the color coding 
Red bristles aligned with the red arrow. Set the power switch on the VK136 to position A. Move the cleaner over the mattress to work the dry cleaning powder into the fabric, massaging it for about three minutes. Then open the window and allow the powder to dry for about 30 minutes. Exchange the dry cleaning brushes for the mattress brushes once more. Then vacuum up the Lavinia powder to leave the mattress clean and fragrant. For upholstery, there's the Poster Boy, which has been designed for cleaning pad furniture and for getting into small areas that the EB360 cannot reach. With the slide switch pushed backwards, suction is directed to the base of the device. Pushed forwards, it's directed to the front nozzle. The Poster Boy is attached to the VK136 by an electrical hose. It has its own motor, which is activated when the VK136 is switched on. With the switch pushed backwards, the poster boy can be used to clean flat surfaces such as car seats and sofas. With the switch pushed forwards, it can be used to clean in gaps and hard to reach corners in car seats, armchairs and so on. However, it should not be used on leather or vinyl or on quilts and mattresses. For all above floor cleaning operations, set the power switch on the body of the machine to level 3. The textile attachment can be used to clean a variety of fabrics, clothing and upholstery, and for removing hairs, threads and so on from surfaces. Used with a telescopic tube, it can reach easily to the very tops of curtains. The flat surface nozzle is ideal for cleaning ceilings and walls, including coving and picture rails. It can be used with the telescopic tube to increase its reach. The Vario attachment can be used to clean a variety of surfaces. The arm can be bent up to 90 degrees in both directions to give a wide range of angles. It can remove dust from seams and gaps in furniture and fittings, upholstery, bedding and those hard to reach places in cars. Used with a radiator brush, it can clean between the columns of a radiator, the tops of cupboards and the slats of vertical or Venetian blinds. Used with a drill dust nozzle, it can remove drilling dust at source. The suction from the VK136 holds the nozzle in place while sucking away the drill dust as it's formed. The adjustable soft nozzle can be used for gentle to energetic dusting. The cover can be moved up and down to vary the stiffness of the bristles. With the adjustable soft nozzle, you can dust furniture, books, picture frames, car faces, and much, much more. Used with a telescopic tube, it can dust delicate objects that are otherwise difficult to reach. From time to time, or if the performance of the machine deteriorates, check the condition of the electronic brush. Examine the roller brushes to check that the black bristles are still longer than the yellow clusters. If they aren't, replace both roller brushes. Open the brush cover by pressing the yellow button and pulling up the lid. Pull the old brushes out of the tunnel. Push in the new brushes using the color coding to ensure they're placed at the correct end. If the cover won't close completely, it's probably because you haven't pushed the brushes in far enough. Threads and hairs may become tangled round the bristles. Cut them away using scissors. If necessary, 
Remove the brushes from the brush head to do this. You can also inspect the suction channel of the EB360 by removing the flap on the base. If there are any obstructions, remove them. The HD35 is a robust device and its tough bristles will last a long time. However, they'll eventually wear out and become inefficient. They can then be easily replaced by unclipping and removing the plastic plate and inserting a new one. You can carry out some simple maintenance on the PL515 yourself. To inspect the inside, press the yellow button and pull up the hand grip to lift the cover. Occasionally, the brush set holder may become loose. This is usually because the retaining pins have come out of position. Replace the pins in their grooves and push until they click back. From time to time, remove hairs and dirt from the cleaning sets. When they're badly worn, dirty or saturated with wax, replace them. Individual pads can be prized away from the pad holder using fingers or a screwdriver. New pads can then be inserted. Be careful to line up the three pins on the pad with the three holes on the pad holder. Then push until all three click into place. Occasionally, check the suction inlet. If there's a blockage, you can remove it. Before carrying out any work on the poster boy, disconnect it from the electrical hose. To inspect or clean the brush set, pull down the end of the suction cartridge and remove it. Replace the suction cartridge by inserting it into the device and clicking it into place. For cleaning, use only a damp cloth. Never use water. You can clean the adjustable soft nozzle with water and a little detergent. The suction hose must always be stored in a loose loop. It should never be hung at only one point or bent sharply. The connections must never be damp cleaned. The dry cleaning cassettes and brushes can be cleaned using cold water. Don't use cleaners or solvents. The whole kit should be allowed to dry fully before being reused. But don't use heat as the plastic may warp. When reinstalling the brushes, make sure that the brush with the red bristles is placed in the cassette with the red arrow. You'll need to change the filter bag regularly. When the suction indicator is yellow, it shows that the bag is full. Pull up the yellow button and turn the top of the machine to one side. Pull the bag out and replace it with a new one, making sure that it's the right way round. Press the plastic plate under the wire bow. Now put a Dovina fragrance chip onto the bag. Then close the machine up again, ensuring that it clicks shut. The suction power display will have reset itself to green. The used filter bag can be disposed of with your household rubbish. You shouldn't try to empty or reuse it. The hygiene microfilter should be replaced regularly. Please see the instruction manual for details. To change the microfilter, remove the cover plate and pull the old filter out. Insert a new one. As a reminder of when it will need to be replaced, attach a dated label to the box. Put back the cover, pushing gently until it clicks into place. The motor protection filter may need occasional cleaning, but it won't need to be changed unless it becomes heavily soiled or if a filter bag breaks. If necessary, the filter can be cleaned by tapping the dust out of it. It can also be washed under a running tap, but make sure it's completely dry before reinstalling it. When replacing the filter, ensure it sits neatly in place so that no air can flow around it. A soft plastic carry case is supplied with the VK136 for easy transport and storage of the many accessories. It can be hung in a cupboard for easy access. The assembled machine can be stored in the parked position 
or it can be hung flat against a wall or door. <laughs>